the redox uh, reaction uh, which is going to actually uh, take place. So we'll say that this one is our redox uh, reaction, right? So that is what we have as far as this one is concerned. So our zinc, as you can see here, is being oxidized to zinc 2 plus and our copper 2 plus is being reduced to copper solid. As we have highlighted, we are having our zinc with an oxidation state of zero. So our oxidation number increases from zero to two plus, which is an oxidation reaction. And our copper two plus uh, is an oxidation state of two plus. And then our copper solid, it is an oxidation state of zero, which is a decrease in oxidation number that is from two to zero. So at the end of the day, we are going to say that that one is our reduction uh, reaction, right? Because we're having a decrease in the oxidation number. And in zinc, we have an increase in the oxidation number, which is an oxidation uh, reaction. So all, and now we have our wool there, which we have. The wool itself, we are actually filling or closing our our salt bridge with cotton wool so that we are going to allow the movement of ions in and out our salt bridge. Right with this one, stay tuned for lecture number three, where we are going to look at the relation of current and potential to rates and equilibrium. Right. Thank you for your understanding. So meet in the next lecture, which is lecture number three, uh, the relation of current and potential to rates and equilibrium. It's nice to meet you. My name is Tapio Guamore. We are going to have our third lecture in electrochemistry called the relation of current and potential difference to red and chemical equilibrium. So in this case, we are going to look on the relationship which is there between our current and our potential difference to the rate of the reaction as well as our chemical equilibria. So first of all, we are going to define what is an electrical current. An electrical current itself is the rate of flow of charge or the number of electrons flowing past a point the unit time so let us have the definition of uh, an electrical current first our electrical current is equal to our charge per unit time meaning to say that our i there is our current and our q there is our charge and our delta t is our change in time the current in a galvanic cell is dependent on the number of electrons. That flow in the conductor per unit uh, time. So we are saying this in turn is dependent on how quickly electrons are produced at the electrode. That is the rate of the reaction. Uh, the faster the rate of the reaction, is uh, the greater 
the currents flowing in the circuits. Right, so all what we are saying is uh, the faster the rate of the reaction is, we have the greater the electrical current which will flow in that particular circuit. And we understand that uh, the rates of the reactions are affected by the temperature, pressure in the case of uh, gases, and particularly the concentrations of the solutions. The standard electrode potential of copper uh, is uh, zero plus zero comma three four volts at a temperature of uh, 25 degrees Celsius and at an ionic concentration of uh, one mole per cubic decimeter right this zero comma three four we are getting it straight from uh, the standard electrode potential tables. But now, if the copper is placed in a copper ion solution of a concentration 0 0,1 mole per cubic decimeter, it becomes 0 0,31. So this one, 0 0,34, is a 25 degrees Celsius or 298 kelvins. And at a concentration of one mole per cubic decimeter. However, the electrode potential of copper is plus 0 0,31 volts at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius or 298 kelvins, but at a concentration of 0 0,1 mole per cubic decimeter. As you can see from uh, these two electrode potentials, they are different. Why? Because there is a difference in the concentration. So all what we are saying is, the greater the concentration, the greater also the potential difference which is going to be produced. So we are saying that our potential difference itself is directly proportional to the concentrations of our solutions. Why? Because the rate of the reactions are being affected by the concentrations of our solutions. Right? As the reactions continue, the rates of both the forward and reverse reactions slow down as the concentrations of the zinc ions increases and the concentration of the copper 2 plus ions decreases. That is from uh, the reactions which we have already done under our galvanic uh, cells. So what we are having is in our chemical reaction, we are having our zinc solid uh, plus our copper 2 plus aqueous ions they are being converted to zinc 2 plus aqueous ions plus the copper solid. So in this case, our zinc solid is being oxidized to zinc 2 plus by losing two electrons. And our copper 2 plus is being reduced to copper by gaining two electrons. And uh, consequently, we are saying that there is an increase in the zinc 2 plus ions because they are being produced on this uh, right hand side and we are having a decrease in the copper 2 plus ions in the solution why because we are forming more of the copper uh, solid uh, that's why we are saying that as the reactions continue the rates of both the forward and reflection reactions uh, slow down as the concentrations of the zinc ions increases and the concentrations of the copper ions uh, decreases. So we see to it that uh, this one is going to result into a shift in chemical equilibrium to the left and the voltage uh, decreases. The PD generated by the cell, uh, which we call the V cell, uh, drops as the reaction 
approaches equilibrium and we know that at equilibrium the rate of uh, the forward reaction is equal to uh, the rate of the backward uh, reaction yeah that is what we know right so all what we are saying here is that uh, our PD generated by the cell depends on the rates and position of the equilibrium reactions the rate decreases at the cell approaches equilibrium and our V cell is equal to zero when the cell reaches equilibrium uh, the current uh, flowing in the circuit is proportional to the V cell so what we are saying here is our current is directly proportional to our V cell that is the voltage of the cell and will only decrease as the reaction uh, fall. The PD of a cell depends on the extent to which the spontaneous cell reaction is moved towards equilibrium. The PD of a galvanic cell is not constant. Uh, it is a maximum when the circuit is switched on but it decreases thereafter. The PD delivered by a cell is dependent on the concentrations of the ions in the solutions. The larger the concentrations of the ion is, the greater the PD of the cell. However, as the reaction proceeds, the ions in the solution of the cathode half cell, that is uh, the reactant ions, as we have seen from uh, lecture two, becomes depleted that is their concentrations decreases and the concentrations of the ions in the anode half cell which is our product ions increases as a result of the changes in concentration the pd of the cell will decrease as it operates eventually all the ions in the cathode half cell will have deposited on the electrode and the cell is said to be flat that is our V cell is equal to zero volts let us stay stay tuned for our lecture number four in which we are going to look on standard electrode potentials uh, thank you for your listening